Howdy, howdy. Gary Palmer here with Fishing at Oregon Coast. Today, we're going to talk about reading nautical charts. Oh, here we go. I know at our wall in our shop, I have a big nautical chart showing the uh, coastline here in Oregon where Julie and I fish. You take a look at that chart and said, what the heck? How do you read this thing? But there's really a lot of good information, and we'll look at it before we're heading out on a new trip to go halibut fishing or tuna fishing or uh, some waters that we're not familiar with. And then when we're out there, we have chart chart plotter on our marine electronics that gives us real-time information about where we're at, shows us hazards, markers that will give us information. And especially if we're out, it gets foggy. I feel a lot of confidence in having that chart right there uh, in front of me that can tell me where we're at and where we need to be going. When we're out fishing, I'll use it a lot to look for, uh, look at the contours for the change in depth or areas, structures where I'm hoping we'll find fish. Now I'd like to show you a short video that explains the use of nautical charts. And here we go. How do you know where you are and what's around you? Well, there are maps for the ocean too. These are called nautical charts. At first glance, a nautical chart may look overwhelming, but once you learn what the various lines, numbers, and symbols mean, reading these charts becomes a lot easier. Let's go over some basics. Any location on Earth can be described by two numbers, its latitude and longitude. On a chart, lines of latitude are horizontal, while longitude are vertical. Both are actually angles measured in degrees. If a ship captain wants to find a specific location on a chart, these are the coordinates he would use. You'll notice numbers all over the ocean areas on nautical charts. These are actually water depths. These numbers are especially important to large commercial vessels that need to protect the bottom of their boats in shallow waters. Nautical charts also use a variety of colored lines, shapes, and symbols to show what you'll find from the sea surface down to the sea floor. Coastlines can often be an underwater obstacle course of sandbars, reefs, and rocks. Throughout history, a variety of ships have sunk to the bottom of the ocean. The locations of these shipwrecks may be noted on a chart. Blue lines are used to distinguish areas of protected habitat, like a marine sanctuary. These areas may be home to beautiful islands, corals, or marine life, some of which are endangered. Nautical charts are roadmaps of the ocean, helping sailors, fishermen, explorers, and scientists find their way around the big blue sea. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. And this is a, um, a chart, a nautical chart, on NOAA's website. And you can look these up for almost all the waterways along the um, coast of the U.S and the Oregon uh, ones will be on the Pacific coast. And here's one for Coos Bay and there's the uh, Coos River and here's the harbor and the boat launches for Coos Bay, Charleston. And you can get these at uh, www.charts.noaa.gov online viewer forward slash uh, 18587 is for the um, for Coos Bay, but there's a catalog uh, that you'll be able to look at and then pick the area that you're interested in. Well, that's it for now. This is Fishing Oregon Coast, over and out.